My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and this is another episode of Everyday Office. Today, I'd like to demonstrate something I've been playing around with a lot lately. In PowerPoint 2016, we have this new transition called Morph, which allows the same shape to stay on the screen the whole time as your animation is going, but allows it to grow, shrink, and move around the screen. And I've been using this for basically an animated background recently. So as you can see here, the first uh, slide I've created is just a blank slide. And then on slide number two, I've made uh, two rectangles that come in on the screen. You can see this. If I play, you'll see that the two bars come on the screen. Now, at this point, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have slides devoted to each of the different best supporting actress candidates, um, competitors, I don't know what they're called. And I'd like to have the same background elements just sort of sliding around and being interesting. So what I do here is I use the Control D keyboard shortcut to duplicate the previous slide. So I have the exact same slide with the exact same features on it. Now this slide, I don't want to be this layout with Best Supporting Actress on it. So let's go ahead and remove Best Supporting Actress. And I will change the layout to, let's say, blank so that I can just put uh, the first person's picture and maybe some information on it, something along those lines. The other thing I need to do is on slide number two, I had these two rectangles slide onto the screen. I had animation on them, and I need to remove that for slide number three because I, they don't need to come on the screen anymore. They are on the screen. So I'll go over here to the animations tab and choose none, no animation on this one, Click on this rectangle, none, no animation on that one either. And uh, let's just take a moment here and insert the one piece of content that's new. I'll go to pictures here, and uh, here are my different actresses. So the first actress in alphabetical order is Viola Davis. Okay, so there's Viola Davis, Viola Davis. Um, and uh, we'll just put her here dead center, that's great. And at this point, we need to ask ourselves what we want the rectangles that are in the background to be doing as Viola Davis shows up on the screen. So I'll go ahead and take this rectangle over here and pinch it in substantially, make it just a vertical bar over here on the side. I'll take this one and I'll stretch it out to make it relatively the full width of the screen or close to it. And uh, we'll go ahead on slide number three and add a transition because morph is this transition that basically says whatever slide two looks like, whatever slide three looks like, if there are common elements, let's just go ahead and uh, make sure that they morph from one version of themselves to the next. So I click on morph and you can see there that the bars are changing sizes. Now I repeat this process. I click on slide number three and use control D to duplicate my slide. Now Viola Davis, or Viola Davis, excuse me, is uh, no longer the first person we're talking about. So I'm going to take her picture and slide it up here to the corner and I'm going to size her down a little bit. Then I'm going to use the uh, insert feature to grab the next actress in alphabetical order, H-I-J-K. Okay, so Naomi Harris is the next one. She's going to show up in the middle of the screen. Now again, what should the bars be doing? Uh, I'll go ahead and make this bar a vertical down this side, and I'll make this bar a little bit wider, something along those lines. And again, because Morph was on the previous slide, here you can see it's already on this slide. Then I'll use Control D. Now Naomi Harris needs to line up with Viol Viola Davis and be the same size up there. These boxes, let's say this one gets to be this size, this one gets to be that size. And again, insert pictures, Nicole Kidman. Don't need the design ideas, thank you. Choose the slide, Control D, Nicole Kidman now slides up into place alongside the other two. There we go. Maybe this rectangle gets to be this big, and this rectangle gets to be this big. 
insert picture. Octavia Spencer's next. Fantastic. There she is. Duplicate the slide. Octavia Spencer slides up into her spot right there. There it is. Uh, this rectangle goes this size. This rectangle goes that size. <clears throat> Insert a new picture. And we have Michelle Williams. Okay. Now, after Michelle Williams uh, is announced, then Michelle Williams needs to slide back into the place. So again, duplicate that slide, Control D, move the Michelle Williams up into her spot up here, resize her down like that, space her out, good, okay. And let's change the size of these rectangles. Maybe this one is that size and that one's that size. And now finally, uh, for those of you who, who are waiting to watch your recordings, uh, spoiler alert, Viola Davis <laughs> wins this year. Uh, so control D to duplicate. And let's just take Viola Davis, put her front and center here, blow her back up to full size. And uh, let's actually just take the alignment tools to align her in the middle of the screen and we'll go ahead and take the other four ladies off and we'll resize these rectangles to be bars on either side. Now remember all the way through because we were duplicating each slide has morph turned on and so any elements that weren't there before come on the screen but any elements that were there they just t pay attention to whether there were any changes to those elements. So let's see this in action. I'll start from the beginning of the presentation as you can see blank slide with our um, next slide being the best supporting actress slide uh, where the bars are coming onto the screen. So this is not morph, this is just a normal transition. The bars fly onto the screen. Now at this point, the next slide has the same two bars. Best supporting actress is going to disappear. Viola Davis is going to up here. So the two bars can just sort of shift and do whatever they were going to do while Viola Davis shows up on the screen. Now, if we look to the next slide, we see that Viola Davis is still on the screen, but she's smaller and up in the corner. So again, Morph should move Viola Davis up into the corner and make her smaller, and Naomi Harris should show up on the screen. And the background shifts. Then Naomi Harris moves and resizes, and the background shifts. Nicole Kidman moves and resizes, and the background shifts. Octavia Spencer moves and resizes in the background shifts, Michelle Williams, and then finally, there it is. And so that is how Morph can make your background animate itself automatically. All you have to do is have the same basic visual elements and resize them and shift them around on the screen and they become a dynamic background for you.